Good morning and welcome to episode 6 of the Engines That Didn't Sell from the beautiful Sunshine Lodge in Floral City, Florida. This is where I'm staying for the weekend and this is where this video is being shot. So the engine I have today is a can be 65 Sportster. It's an engine I acquired I think early this year and I've got several videos on it. Uh, this is really the first, not the first experience I've had with KB engines, but the first incredibly excellent experience I've had with KB engines. And the Sportster series was KB's first foray into the sport economy type engines prior to that in the 70s and early 80s. They were making some really high performance uh, pylon type racing engines and stuff and this is a first like I said their first uh, the sports series is their first entry into the general sport market this is a bearingless engine it has no ball bearings at all only bearing surfaces made from the high silicon content in the aluminum casing now this engine is incredibly impressive in my mind and the reason it didn't sell is because I don't think I had anybody that was interested in it and quite honestly after reviewing some of the videos I had on it I don't think I'd sell it anyway because I had so few runs on it I think I only had like five definite five runs on it and you can see right here how well the thing idled and accelerated from uh, a long extended idle engine for only having had like five runs on it that wasn't even five tanks of fuel and uh, I think the very last run and video I did with this engine was on a, a static thrust my st static thrust stand it was my static thrust version 3.0 the latest iteration of the static thrust stand and uh, it showed that this engine even though it's a sport engine not ball bearing and not a high performance one it can sustain it can pull you know seven pounds of static thrust fairly easily so that means it could power you know some 60 size airplanes pretty well uh, like the SIG Astro Hog even the Hog Bipe it would probably fly well in it wouldn't pull them vertically um, but it would be very good performance for those uh, planes and because it's bearingless and you've got the crankshaft stub that unscrews this is an engine that if treated well could last a very very long time and would be very trouble free and uh, you can see some of these static thrust readings from this video right here. engine. Now I had a can be 20 Sportster and 28 Sportster that I made videos of and I was less than impressed with those engines. But this 65 Sportster is a real keeper in my mind. A super cool engine. So thank you for watching. <laughs> 